Indian Railways, the lifeline of India. It is a national asset that operates more than 19,000 trains. It is Asia's second largest and world's fourth largest railway system. The Indian Railways transports over 23 million passengers every day. It also transports for 21 billion people each year. Ever wondered who protects the property and ensures the safety of passengers of the Indian Railways? A force that recovered stolen railway property worth 12.48 crore in 2023. A force that rescued 11,700 and 94 people in 2023. It saved 3,719 precious lives in 2023 alone. A force that attends two lakh calls in need of real-time security assistance during the journey. Get ready to experience the hair-raising journey of Railway Protection Force. Hello and welcome viewers here watching National Security with your host Ruthi Mishra and today our focus is on the Railway Protection Force. Team Sunset TV has boarded the Bande Bharat Express from New Delhi. That's where the headquarter of RPF is situated and we are travelling to Lucknow to the training academy of the RPF. As I cover this distance of approximately 600 kilometers, I'll take you through the spectacular journey of the RPF. Come along. Railway Protection Force established under the RPF Act of 1957 by the Government of India within the Ministry of Railways serves the crucial role of safeguarding railway property, ensuring unhindered train movement and promoting overall security within the railway ecosystem. Empowered by the Railway Property Unlawful Possession Act of 1966, the RPF effectively handles cases of crime related to railway property. Since 2004, the RPF has expanded its mandate to include the security of railway passenger areas and passengers themselves. With authority granted by the Railways Act 1989, the force tackles legal action to uphold passenger safety and security. It remains steadfast in its mission to combat crime, protect passengers and their surroundings and facilitate safe travel. As railway has always been the preferred mode of trafficking of drugs and narcotics for longer distances, Government of India in 2019 empowered the RPF to conduct, search, seize and arrest narcotic smugglers and drug peddlers under the provision of Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act of 1985. Notably, RPF goes extra mile to combat human trafficking, particularly of women and children, and takes proactive measures to rehabilitate destitute children found within railway premises. The RPF, which is the guardian of this most important piece of economic infrastructure, plays a crucial role. You would know that during the armed conflict, bulk of the Indian armed forces, our missile systems, even tanks, will move to the border areas through the railways. So the railways, uh, you would notice, they are always located in close proximity of the cantonments. So therefore, the railways and the Indian Army have a very important symbiotic relationship, both in peace and in war. Secondly, then in a country's security depends on its economic security. And therefore, 
the large scale movement of our minerals, iron ore, coal, food grains for our food security is crucially dependent on Indian railways. So, the RPF is the designated agency for securing this vast economic infrastructure which is spread through more than 75,000 kilometers of route length through deserts, through mountains, through plains, valleys and uh, uh, Sundarbans even. And therefore, I would say that by securing this important economic infrastructure which is crucial for eco economy, which is crucial for Indian army, the RPF stands at a very important place in India's internal security matrix. The Government of India has long recognized the critical importance of securing the railway infrastructure dating back to the inception of railways in 1854. Initially, the responsibility of railway security rested with individual companies employing staff designated as police. The Railway Police Committee of 1872 recommended the organization of government police predecessor to GRP for law enforcement and company police for watch and war duties. By 1881, these duties were formally separated. The company police evolved into the present Railway Protection Force in 1957. However, nearly a century, the force operated without legislative status. In response to growing security concerns, the RPF Act was enacted in 1957, renaming the Railway Security Force as the Railway Protection Force. The RPF rules were established in 1959 and in 1966, the force was granted limited legal powers under the Railway Property Unlawful Possession Act. Subsequent modifications were made to the RPF Act in 1985 to constitute and maintain the force as an armed force of the Union. The RPF rules of 1987 were framed to govern its operations. Additionally, during the 1962 Chinese aggression, the Special Emergency Force, later renamed as Railway Protection Special Force, was raised to protect railway infrastructure in border districts. Despite these advancements, the need for effective and disciplined enforcement led to further amendments to the RPF Act in 1985. These legislative changes aim to strengthen the constitution and maintenance of the force, ensuring its capability to fulfill its security mandate effectively. Railway Protection Force and Government Railway Police are two distinct entities responsible for ensuring safety and security within the Indian Railway system. While they share the common goal of safeguarding passengers, property and infrastructure, there are differences in their structure, jurisdiction and functions. While the RPF operates under the Ministry of Railways and is a specialized force with nationwide jurisdiction, the GRP on the other hand operates under the respective state police departments as law and order is a state subject. It has jurisdiction over railway areas within the state. The RPF is organized centrally with its headquarters located in New Delhi. The GRP is organized at the state level. The RPF has diverse responsibilities crucial to railway safety and security. The GRP primarily is responsible for maintaining law and order on trains and at railway stations within the state's jurisdiction. RPF has been successful in its forte for ensuring the security of railway property as well as safety of passengers. The force has been working round the clock for providing safe, secure and comfortable travel experience to the passengers while ably discharging the responsibility of protection of huge assets of railways spread far and wide across the country by taking preventive measures as well as measures for detection of crime against railway property. RPF undertakes the noble cause of identifying and rescuing children in need of care and protection who are lost or separated from their family due to various reasons and came in contact with Indian Railways. The Operation Nane Farishte has given remarkable results, resulting in the rescue of 79,000 children, including boys and girls, since 2018. 13,174 children were rescued from January 2023 to February 2024. Mission Jeevan Raksha 
RPF personnel often encounter situations where passengers in their haste to board or disembark from moving trains slip and fall perilously close to the tracks, risking injury or worse being run over by the train. Since 2018, 6,659 lives were saved by RPF personnel. Operation Yatri Suraksha Under this operation, RPF provides special attention towards the security and safe travel of passengers through the railways. RPF has detected 21,985 cases related to passengers and led to the arrest of 25,257 criminals since 2018. The crimes include serious crimes like drugging, decoity, robbery, theft of passenger belongings. Operation Mahila Suraksha Safety and security of women passengers has been an important concern of Indian Railways. Among many initiatives implemented to ensure security of lady passengers, Miri Saheli initiative stands out as a game changer. Launched in 2020, designed to ensure the safety and security of female passengers travelling alone or with minors on long-distance trains throughout their entire journey from the originating station to the terminating station, this initiative has seen the formation of dedicated teams comprising lady RPF personnel across all zonal railways for its seamless implementation. Currently, 230 teams are deployed daily, covering 419 trains on average across the Indian Railways network. Railway Suraksha Bal Dwara Chalai Gai, Akeli Mahalai Jo Yatra Karti Hai, Unke Liye Ek Special Muhim Chalai Gai Hai, Jis Ka Naam Meri Shaili, Jo Rail Prahari Ka Ek App Hai, Usi Me Aata Hai, Usme Kya Hai Ki Jo Akeli Yatra Train Mahalai Train Me Safar Kar Rhi Hai, Unka Data Ham Log Ke Paas Aata Hai, To Ham Log स्टेशन पर जाकर उस ट्रेन में पीएनआर नंबर सीट नंबर कोच नंबर होता है उन महिलाओं को अटेंड करते हैं उन्हें जागरूक करते हैं इस चीज के लिए कि आप ट्रेन में अकेले सफर कर रही हैं किसी तरह के कोई हेल्थ इशू या आपको किसी तरह की परेशानी होती है कोई छेड़खानी आपके साथ हो रही है तो आप रेलवे का एक टोल फ्री नंबर है 139 आप उस पर कॉल कर सकती हैं तत्काल प्रभाव में आपको सुविधा उपलब्ध कराई जाएगी और जो नेक्स्ट स्टेशन होगा वहां पर भी मेरी सहेली टीम सब उपलब्ध होती है वो आएगी और आप लोग को अटेंड करेगी ट्रेन में ऑपरेशन आहट as guardians of national carrier with a nationwide presence, RPF plays a pivotal role in combating human trafficking. Under its initiative named Operation Ahat, which is action against human trafficking, the force has intensified its efforts against the heinous crime. To enhance its effectiveness in thwarting human traffickers, the RPF implemented anti-human trafficking units at post level across more than 740 locations on the Indian Railways. Since 2022, these units facilitated the rescue of 1,614 individuals from the clutches of traffickers, of which 1,564 were children, leading to the arrest of 475 traffickers. Emergency Response RPF is available on call which is a toll-free number 139 integrated with emergency response support system and other social media forums as well round the clock to receive, resolve any security or other grievances of the passengers. Indian Railways has created a universal number called 139 which can be dialed from anywhere in the country. You need not put any zero or anything in front of it. Just dial 139. The moment you dial, uh, the voice would say that welcome to Indian Railways. For any security related assistance, dial 1. You have to just dial 1. The moment a passenger dials 1, immediately somebody would pick up and would like to know uh, where you are travelling, your PNR number or which train or which location, what is the problem you are facing and immediately this would be conveyed to the nearest security control room and that security control room will in turn alert the if there is a escort party in that train it will alert the escort party and if there is no escort party it will alert the nearest railway station and you would get the required help on the next station. There is perfect amalgamation of Vala and tech applications in the training module of the RPF ready to combat any untoward incident or challenge. 
Team Sunset TV is visit to the JR RPF Academy for the training of the RPF probationers and other officers of Indian Railway Protection Force service was a memorable one. The academy plays an important role in training RPF gazetted officers and officers of other ranks and makes them ready for taking up the security challenges faced by railway system. The academy made significant advancements in accelerating the delivery of training across physical, digital and digital modes. With an expanded curriculum, the academy continues to stand as a trailblazer in railway security training covering areas like counterterrorism and counterinsurgency, CBR and attacks, social media monitoring and analysis, public order and crowd management, explosives and IED detection, cyber security, drone technology, space technology, physiological operations, naxalism, disruptive and emerging technologies, threat perception and the way forward. Our personals are operating in uh, diverse uh, security threat scenarios. We are operating in uh, the North uh, East uh, Arena. We are operating in the Naxal Belts, right from the Andhra Corridor to West Bengal. Then we are also operating and uh, we are starting our uh, wider operations in Jammu and Kashmir. Lot of tunneling is there. So our focus is now also shifting towards the tunnel security. It's a new arena for us. We are getting our men trained. Then we are, we are training our personnel in uh, drone technology also. So CDTI Ghaziabad and BPRND, our sister organizations, are uh, hand-holding us. And uh, we are also into uh, ID and explosive trainings uh, in which we have trained 2206 personnel in the year 2023. रेल सुरक्षा बल में डॉग स्क्वाड एक महत्वपूर्ण अंग है रेल सुरक्षा बल में लगभग 500 डॉग कार्यरत हैं ये मुख्यतः दो प्रकार के हैं एक ट्रैकर का काम करते हैं क्राइम सीन से अपराधियों तक पहुंचने में मदद करते हैं और दूसरे प्रकार का स्निफर डॉग है स्निफर डॉग में तीन प्रकार हैं रेल सुरक्षा बल में एक जो एक्सप्लोजिव को स्निप करते हैं उसको सर्च करते हैं दूसरा नारकोटिक्स आइटम को और सर्च करते हैं अपने स्निपिंग पावर के द्वारा और तीसरा वाइल्ड लाइफ स्मगलिंग को सर्च करते हैं दी आर पी एफ हैज इमर्ज एज ए सिम्बल ऑफ इंक्लूसिव एक्सीलेंस विद वुमेन लीडिंग द पार्क ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट द फोर्स बोस्ट ऑफ हाइस्ट नंबर ऑफ वुमेन पर्सन एट इन सर्विस RPF has one of the highest proportions of women in its ranks among central forces of the union with 9% of its personnel being women. They are very well equipped to handle difficult situations. We are live camera hamare chalte rehte hain to hum baithe baithe ekdam unko sare camera pe nazar hamari rehti hai jahan bhi hame koi sandigdh dikhai deta hai turant hum usko camera ko check karte hain jaise hame zoom karke dekh rahe hain usko PTZ camera hai hamare paas jisme hum ghuma ke pura usko dekhte hain zoom karke dekhte hain ki ha bhai ye yahan pe chal kya raha hai so if you aspire to join the RPF here's what you need to do members of the force are inducted at three levels group A gazetted officers of the force are inducted through civil services examination conducted by the UPSC where the candidates join the force as assistant security commissioners or assistant commandants after completion of training at the central training institute of the force recruitment for members of the force are conducted nationwide at levels of sub inspectors and constables to qualify as a sub inspector candidates must have a minimum education qualification of graduation and be between 20 and 28 years of age with standard relaxations applicable for constables the age limit is between 18 and 28 years and candidates must have passed 10th grade or its equivalent to be eligible to apply aspirants are required to pass a computer based test assessing their general awareness arithmetic general intelligence reasoning abilities followed by a physical test and successful completion of training to join the force
हमारा जो इम्तहान है इसमें हम एक तो अर्थमेटिक्स जो है बेसिक अंकणित जनरल नॉलेज यानी सामान्य ज्ञान जनरल एप्टीट्यूड लॉजिकल रीजनिंग जनरल इंग्लिश के बड़े सामान्य सवाल होते हैं जो किसी भी आजकल प्रतियोगी परीक्षा में पूछे जाते हैं समय कम होता है तो आप जो भी किताब से पढ़ें और जो आप टेस्ट सीरीज़ लें उसे घड़ी रख के सामने प्रैक्टिस करें क्योंकि कई बार इम्तहान में आप मानसिक दबाव में होते हैं समय कम होता है जानते हुए भी आप सारे सवालों का जवाब नहीं दे पाते तो मैं आपके माध्यम से जो लोग आरपीएफ ज्वाइन करने के इच्छुक हैं मैं उनसे यही कहूँगा कि मेहनत शुरू कर दें मेम्बर्स ऑफ द फोर्स आर अवॉर्डेड विद प्रेस्टिजियस मेडल्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर द पुलिस फोर्सेज लाइक प्रेजेंट पुलिस मेडल फॉर डिस्टिंग सर्विस Indian Police Medal for Meritorious Service, President's Police Medal for Gallantry, and Jeevan Raksha Padak of Ministry of Home Affairs from time to time. Thousands have laid down their lives, making supreme sacrifice for the nation. RPF is dedicated not only to safeguarding railways from criminal elements and threats to national security, but also to fulfilling commitments to service. upholding its mission of seva hi sankalp the force strives tirelessly to assist those in need thereby exemplifying its aspiration to realize the motto of yasho labhasva or attain ona in pursuit of its mission rpf remains steadfast embracing new methodologies technologies tools and practices by continually enhancing its capabilities and reach the force aims to establish its effectiveness in safeguarding the nation and its citizens reaffirming its unwavering dedication to security and public service